the German economy is struggling. Just been getting worse. Germany's recent economic slowdown. VW is facing massive consumer backlash. So for the German business model, it was really tough. The roof is on fire. This is the final wake-up call. Industrial production in a country that was once Europe's manufacturing powerhouse peaked six years ago. Since then, it has fallen by as much as 12%, and only in September, it was lower by 1.4% than in August. This is not a good time for the German economy. This is also confirmed by reports from one of the most recognizable local brands, namely Volkswagen. The company is preparing employees for job cuts, and the car manufacturer's situation is described as critical. Volkswagen is preparing its employees for employment reductions, writes the website of the weekly Zeit. The situation is very critical. The plans assume a reduction of up to 20% of the staff. The trade magazine Manager Magazine reports that the brand's management expects that new layoff and automation projects may bring a total of EUR 11 billion. According to data from December 2023, a total of 550,000 people work at Volkswagen so over 100,000 people may be at risk of losing their jobs, which is slightly less than the population of Opole. The mood west of the Oder is exceptionally bad, and this is a huge problem not only for Germans but also for the European Union as well as Poland, where up to 30% of its economy is linked to German business. Germany has had to pay the most for its debt since 2012, after the financial crisis of 2007 to 2009, Deutsche Welle prepared a social survey to assess the economic situation in Germany. This one is to be assessed much more critically than in the previous such survey, as much as 73%. Respondents perceive it as not very good or bad. Um, I think the, the path Germany is on is, is a difficult one. It's a risky one. The problem is, I think, the people, the Germans, believed in this energy transition at the outset of this current government. And I think people have lost a bit the belief in it. The industrial power of Germany is at a crossroads that it has not been at for a long time, which is why today I decided to discuss this topic for you. So now I invite you to today's report. The prospects for the German economy are not positive. The Institute for the World Economy in Kiel deepened the forecast decline in GDP this year from 0.3% up to 0.5%. Faced with the risk of recession, German industry is shrinking more than expected. In September, industrial production fell for the fourth month. Production decreased by 1.4% compared to the expected 0.1%. The sector is struggling with higher interest rates and a slowdown in China. Although it seems difficult to imagine at the moment, a scenario in which Germany will stop producing cars on a mass scale is not impossible. This information was reported by the British weekly The Economist, which asked one of the most renowned British experts about this fact. The article states that the effects of such a situation would go far beyond the automotive industry. They could even lead the entire European Union to a gigantic industrial crisis. We realize that the energy basis will change and it goes to historical height in the aftermath of the Ukraine war started by Russia. On the other hand, we see a lot of problems in the aftermath of the pandemic in logistics, high logistics costs, problems in managing the supply chain, and realize that in some parts of the world, also in the United States, a new wave of protectionism is um, on the scene, on the political scene. So for the German business model, it was really tough, and specifically in the, in the, from the energy side. Of course, there is still a long way to the collapse, and at the moment, such a variant seems unlikely. But no one thinking with common sense should treat it with a pinch of salt. Let's look at data from the most important German industrial giants. Let's start with Volkswagen. The German automotive concern reported in December 2023 that, in the first 11 months of 2023, its sales decreased by 12.3% compared to the same period a year earlier. In turn, Siemens, a German technology concern, reported in December 2023 that its revenues in the first nine months of 2023 decreased by 6.1% compared to the same period a year earlier. Robert Bosch, a concern producing car parts, reported in December 2023 that its revenues in the first nine months of 2023 decreased by 5.6% 
compared to the same period a year earlier. I do think Germany can recover, but I think, as Anna said, you kind of have, you have so many issues that were long invisible because of growth, because of good conditions, because of money coming in. And since it's sort of been stripped to more of its like bare bones, you kind of see what's actually going on in this like skeletal Germany and what structures have to be changed and fixed for the country to then prosper again in the future. At the end of June, the German concern Allgair, operating since 1906, announced bankruptcy. The company was involved in the supply of metal parts for car manufacturers and process engineering. It currently employs 1,700 people in Germany alone. Although the company's name may not be widely known, in the automotive industry, the company is considered one of the most important companies supplying components for car production. Therefore, for many entities that cooperated with Allgaier, this may mean problems that are already being felt. This includes brands such as Porsche, Audi, and BMW. Reading German newspapers and social media, every day there is information about further company bankruptcies. The problem mainly concerns entities operating in the clothing industry, all because of difficulties in coping with the constantly increasing costs of running companies, which for Germany in the current situation is the greatest challenge in the history of this country. According to DW.com, by September 2023, a total of 12 significant enterprises from the textile and retail fashion industry sectors, as well as six hospital facilities, had declared bankruptcy in Germany. This phenomenon corresponds to the picture of the situation presented by the German Hospital Institute, or DKI, according to which currently two-thirds of German hospitals and clinics assess their financial situation as bad or very bad. And in the case of medium-sized hospitals, this percentage is even higher. Experts from Allianz Trade note that there have been five cases of large bankruptcies in the machinery industry, four in the metal industry, and three in the construction sector. When talking to Germans and Poles working there, I heard many opinions that this is one of the worst periods in the modern history of Germany. Wir stehen kurz vor einer Staatskrise, es sind Milliarden. Wir kommen zurück nach Deutschland, denn Nele, wir müssen es ja so formulieren, es sind denkwürdige Tage und Wochen. Noch nie hat eine Bundesregierung ja vor einem so finanziellen Desaster gestanden. Milliarden verpuffen einfach. Als das einzige Industrieland auf der Welt befindet sich Deutschland im Jahr 2023 in der Rezession. Und das hat etwas mit der deutschen Wirtschaftspolitik zu tun. The level of industrial production in Germany is the lowest since August 2000. And compared to the historical maximum in November 2017, production has decreased by 12%. Now, I will quote, In the German macro horror, we are approaching the moment when children ask their parents when the last series of positive macro data came from Germany, is how ING economists describe the matter in a comment on yesterday's statistics. More and more young Germans have problems with obtaining a loan for their first apartment because banks are reluctant to lend and real estate prices compared to Poland are sometimes several times higher than in Poland. The trend of renting instead of buying is increasingly met with criticism, especially in the case of a society that loses the ability to work effectively. After all, renting is a big burden. Contrary to appearances, Poland and Germany are very similar countries, so the problems we observe in our neighbors should not make us happy, because we will also face them sooner or later. In fact, we already have to deal with them in certain sectors. Just take into account the indebted health service or problems with the availability of cheap loans. The collapse of industry turned out to be the greatest historical blow for many countries. And this was also the case in Poland after the end of the Polish People's Republic, when many of the state giants were sold off or went bankrupt. In Germany, the value of the industry is the same as the entire GDP of Poland especially when talking about the European Union and the common currency Euro. Ich glaube, wir müssen ganz dringend davon wegkommen, uns nur um die kurze Frist Gedanken zu machen, sozusagen nur an den nächsten Bundestagswahlkampf zu denken, sondern wir müssen strukturell langfristig vorbauen, dass Energie zur Verfügung steht, dass die Standortbedingungen gut sind, dass Bildungssystem gut ist und Fachkräfte zur Verfügung stehen. The chemical giant BASF has been a pillar of German business for over 150 years. 
It supports the country's industrial development through constant innovation which has helped make Made in Germany the envy of the world. However, the company's latest project, an investment worth USD 10 billion, which is to set the gold standard of sustainable production, is not being built in Germany, but 9,000 kilometers away in China. Even as it pursues a future in Asia, BASF, founded on the banks of the Rhine in 1865 as Badische Anilin und Soda Fabrik, is scaling back its operations in Germany. In February, the company announced the closure of a fertilizer plant in its hometown of Ludwigshafen, as well as the end of operations at other facilities leading to approximately 2,600 jobs, layoffs. Im Falle des Chemiemarktes ist China ungefähr 50 Prozent des Weltchemiemarktes und eben nur noch 17 Prozent Europa. Und er wächst kaum mehr der europäische Markt. Gar nicht davon zu reden, dass in den momentanen wirtschaftlichen Schwierigkeiten wir fast 25 Prozent des Produktionsvolumens in Europa verloren haben. Und deswegen gehört es natürlich ganz besonders für das größte Chemieunternehmen der Welt dazu, dass wir nicht 50 Prozent eines Marktes in der Welt aufgeben. Wir haben lange gerungen und natürlich auch alle Dimensionen und Perspektiven betrachtet. Da kommen wir zu dem Schluss, dass die Chancen in China den Risiken überwiegen. Können wir natürlich ausschließen, dass nie was im Falle von Taiwan passiert, kann man nicht. Aber man muss dann schon abwägen, wie wahrscheinlich es ist und sagen wir mal, was sind die Chancen. Unemployment in Germany rose more than expected in August, showing the first cracks in a previously very resilient labor market. The unemployment rate has reached 5.7 percent, and by the end of the year, it may even exceed 6 percent, which is a lot, because there are almost 4 million people who cannot find a job. Trevor Balchin, economic director of the most important U.S. index S&P, emphasizes that the October decline in new orders was the slowest in four months but was still sharp and extended the current period of severe demand decline to 20 months. The current decline in the number of new orders is the strongest in the history of the survey, emphasizes the S&P expert. PMI, which is the most important indicator in industry, is recording increasingly worse results throughout Europe. The worst is in Germany, but paradoxically Poland comes out unscathed here. Data from Eurostat show that industry in Germany declined by 2.2% in nominal terms in 2023. This was the first decline since 2014. At the same time, industry in Poland grew by 10.6%, which was the fastest growth since 1995. While its share in German GDP is falling, it is growing in Poland and more and more investors decide to invest on the Vistula River as a potential new leader of European production. Currently, the entire German economy requires gigantic changes and people are fed up with the current government, which, as they believe, is leading Germany to the brink of collapse. News about the industry in Germany is also a problem that may further limit the profits of Polish logistics and carriers, who are already struggling with the problems of Ukrainian transport that have flooded the European market. Additionally, many orders from Germany also fueled the Polish industry Therefore, these data should not make us optimistic, but at the moment, we are doing quite well. Let me know what you think about all this. That's all from me for today. Take care. Bye.